Okay, so I've evaporated a lot of tap water into this pot. That's what I've got there. So that was over about two days worth. It took me a while to get the settings right, but then we got it. So what is it? I think it's a, it seems to, it's water resistant, like it, water won't salute it. And it could be calcium carbonate, could be calcium sulfate, could be magnesium. I don't think it's calcium sulfate because then it would have grown more. It's probably called the calcium carbonate. And I'll try to pick it off. Oops, it came off. Yeah, I scraped it and it came off. So actually, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's not that tough. My fingernail scraped it. So. Maybe it's not that tough. Maybe it needs to be thicker. Yeah, you can scrape it off with your fingernail. It's also flaking off if um, if it was too hot. Yeah, it's sort of coming off of my finger. Who knows what it is? Maybe it's got something about it that's weak. It's got, it's got weak chemicals in it. So you can only guarantee that they're not soluble. You can't guarantee anything else. And it took like that's like two days worth. That didn't get much. So I've got some gypsum in the mail and I'm going to try it with that and see if I get accelerated growth out of it. But then, you know, most people just sort of mix it with water. It's probably easier. So it's actually not adhered to the pot that well. That's going to do. But we'll see what happens. This saucepan took a huge torso to test then. Pretty good. And the bottom's still shiny, but it looks like it's got some white paint on it or something on the, on the, on the rim. I can't remember if that was there or not. It doesn't look like it, eh? Anyhow, that's all we got. So the next mission, part of the mission is um, we're going to improve the system. And add um and use gypsum instead and add the mineral myself instead of but that was just tap water by itself. I scraped it with my finger. So well um Try it with the plaster compound, which is calcium sulfate, and just one PPT, saturated solution, and we'll see if it's actually, um, unfortunately for me, it's just maybe it's stronger if you just center it with water. But we'll, um, if that ends up being the case, I'm not sure what that means. But if you use uh, CO2 in the water, it's supposed to. Accelerate the growth as well. So maybe it's about accelerating the growth of magnesium carbonate to get it as fast as gypsum is what you need. 
or copper carbonate. But then the problem is evaporative deposition doesn't look like it's the strongest form of adherence you can get. And there may be some reason it actually doesn't adhere properly when you do it. It's kind of like a like boiling it down. So I actually run it, well what if you sinter it and then you boil it afterwards when it's already a cake it together with the heat or something. So I saw it on Nile Red do that with magnesium sulfate and it worked really good. He just sat it in a flask and just cooked the absolute fuck out of it and it went really hard. Uh, I reckon you're doing good. You just worked out a lot of stuff that everyone else worked on. It's easy to scrape off your fingernail. So, well, that's how it's it again. Hang on. Get a I don't know. But really, it would only be such a small layer. Yeah. So maybe um, that that's just the sign it's soft, but it would thick. It would get stronger with thickness. Because everything's weak when it's skinny, even like really strong things, like spider webs. So, yeah. so we'll try with gypsum and then come up with some more to do. But just mixing it with water and slopping it down, that sounds a lot quicker, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's pretty slow and maybe you just don't get so much out of it. Over now.